Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for December 6, 2014. It's a Saturday morning. It's pretty warm out there for December 6th, but temperatures already in the mid to upper 40s along the coast, upper 40s to lower 30s, or should I say upper 30s to lower 40s, uh, to the west of the major cities and mid 30s over the far northern interior. As our cold air has been driven out. Pretty much everyone has gone over the rain and some foggy weather conditions with visibility below 2 miles in many locations. Winds are from the southeast and the south at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. That's going to increase to the northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour by the time we get to this afternoon. On the latest surface map, you can see our low pressure system over the Tennessee and Ohio River valleys starting to interact with our low pressure system along the coast. These two low pressure systems will combine off the New Jersey coast to produce some moderate heavy rainfall tonight and then exit out. Our next major storm is already brewing down here over the southwestern United States. On the latest radar you can see plenty of heavy rainfall developing over western Pennsylvania shifting towards our neck of the woods. What's going to happen is that this area of moderate heavy rainfall will coalesce, become one solid area of moderate heavy rainfall, and shift off and along the New Jersey coast by this evening with some impressive rainfall amounts, looking at anywhere between a half an inch to an inch of rain by the time we get to tomorrow morning. On the latest water vapor satellite picture, a couple of interesting features. First of all, here's our storm rapidly moving to the east. It's starting to lose some of that subtropical connection, but it still has plenty of moisture to work with and will produce some pretty impressive rainfall for this evening. This storm is our next storm. This disturbance right here is with the subtropical jet stream. This upper level low that's developing is with the subtropical jet stream. Our polar jet stream is up here, and this disturbance up here, we are going to watch very carefully and to see how it interacts with our subtropical disturbance by the time we get to Tuesday morning with the potential for some very heavy rainfall. On the infrared satellite picture you can see our area low pressure over the Tennessee River Valley lifting to the north and east and you can see the lifting starting to really become enhanced throughout the northern mid-Atlantic. Now let me show you the Canadian model guidance. Normally I show you the European model guidance but I think it's a bit on the extreme side in which it produces a cutoff low pressure system basically over Virginia and keeps the low pressure system basically sitting right over New York City through Tuesday night and Wednesday and thus leads to the potential for some very heavy snowfall. I explained to premium members this morning why I'm not exactly ready to buy into that solution just yet. So we're going to show you the Canadian model guidance. Now the Canadian model guidance is pretty much in strong support with the European model guidance, the ensemble. European model guidance, which includes about 26 or so runs of the European model. So I'd rather go with that solution rather than the European operational solution. It just makes more physical sense at this time. So here we are for today. Our heavy rainfall moves through. Look for temperatures in the mid to upper 40s for highs for most locations, right around 50 right along the coast. That heavy rainfall will continue to develop tonight and move off the coast on Sunday morning with some lingering showers. By Sunday afternoon, we will be clearing out. Look for temperatures on Sunday to range from the mid to upper 20s for lows over the interior. This is as the rainfall is leaving, so don't be surprised to see some lingering snow showers at the end of the storm, lower to mid 30s along the coast. High temperatures tomorrow only in the lower to mid 40s. So rather chilly out there, it will be windy as well. You'll definitely feel it with wind chills in the mid to upper 30s. That high pressure system will stick around through Monday with scattered cloud cover up until Monday afternoon. Look for low temperatures in the upper teens over the interior and mid 20s along the coast. High temperatures in the mid 30s over the interior and upper 30s to lower 40s along the coast. Now on Monday night, our area low pressure will start to develop. Look for showers to develop Monday evening. Those showers will become widespread and winds will be from the east at around 10 to 20 miles per hour, increasing to 15 to 25 miles per hour. Now by Tuesday morning, that low pressure system is lifting up towards the New Jersey coast with some very heavy rainfall.
throughout much of the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area, with rainfall amounts easily exceeding an inch, possibly two inches, in many locations. That low pressure system will slowly lift north and east on Tuesday afternoon and evening with continued moderate to heavy rainfall. That rainfall will start to change over to snow as the storm lifts out. Now again, here's the difference. On the European model guidance, this upper level load cuts off, thus leading to potential for snow. On the Canadian model guidance, which I think is more realistic, the upper load does start to cut off, but a little bit later. And what we have is a low pressure system sitting up over Maine with the potential for snow showers throughout the entire Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area Wednesday night through Thursday. So temperatures on Wednesday night through Thursday will range from the lower to mid 30s for lows, high temperatures in the lower to mid 40s on Wednesday. On Thursday, low temperatures in the mid to upper 20s, high temperatures in the upper 30s to lower 40s. So a little bit colder environment supporting some snow showers and yes there could be some minor accumulations so i have to watch that storm very carefully to see how it evolves those snow showers again will linger on through thursday and then thursday night through friday high pressure will be in control with clear skies and sky cloud cover temperatures on friday in the mid to upper 20s for lows and high temperatures in the lower to mid 40s that's your forecast discussion for today of course i'm your meteorologist Stephen d martino Follow the latest weather information at nynjpaweather.com and nynjpa weather on Twitter, Facebook, Google, and LinkedIn. Have a wonderful day, and as always, stay safe out there.